Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. Hey, Blue Table fans. It's the morning show, live from the yes, dining room. In Valhalla. Yay. You know what? There's there's people playing in here. we got to go somewhere else. Hey, hey, hey Blue, Blue Table, Table fans. fans. It's the morning show, brought to you by... Live from the kitchen at Valhalla. Yeah. It's still, and you know what? It's still too loud. Yeah, just, the stove, I can't even say it right. The stove's not, the stove's not working. All right, let's go somewhere else. Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. <laughs> Terrible. It's the morning show, live from the theater at Valhalla. No, that, that's terrible, too. All right. And it smells like popcorn in here. Delicious, delicious popcorn. Come on, come on. I don't know if I can do this standing up. Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. Sarah made me do this. Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. Hey. Welcome to the steam room. At Valhalla. The steamy steam room. With steam. Now, now with extra steam. Okay, what's that? Oh, it actually did go. Actually. Hey, hey, Blue Table. <laughs> hey, hey, Blue Table fans. Hey, fans, Blue Table fans. 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 Birds, like, fly off of the trees. Rawr, rawr, rawr. That'd be awesome. That'd yeah. be, that, that Imagine would be awesome. Imagine that so you will feel the awesomeness. So, here we are. We're up at Valhalla. It's July 2012. And, of course, we are going to tell you how great it is. And uh, this is this is like our uh, yeah they do get ever so slightly better each time and uh, they're this, all awesome but how yeah how many we have we even done? more fun every time we do it I think this is the eighth one hold on let's see for uh, something like that I'm we did five remember. last year and then we did and this year did what, April, one in April June, and, June, and, and yeah, now so number eight I think it's so eight. number eight yeah that's right if we're wrong then forgive us yeah that, that's right yeah so we finally found a spot to sit down and do a morning show for you that's right so i wasn't pretty, comfortable pretty with excited. steve you know i got a little i anyway. I, I don't know <laughs> that's awesome okay so um guy what are we going to talk about let's see we can talk about i'm going to move this closer oh. yep I just feel like it's not close enough. I, like I'm shouting to the camera. Yeah, that's that's great. I think that's good. Okay, that's great. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, this has been uh, this summer has been a time of immense uh, personal and professional growth. That's true. Um, I've learned a lot. I've definitely changed a lot as a person. Yeah, and, we've been doing uh, lots of good things. Yeah, I have higher goals and expectations of myself. And a clear vision of what we want to do. Yes. And, um, a clear vision. Of all the great things in this world and all the great people that we get to associate with. So that's right. That's been really great. It's been a and, good, uh, good year. One of our goals for Valhalla is to uh, bring the world to us. And uh, we're, looking, we're looking at new places. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty exciting. Yeah. And... Uh, I, I've actually, this particular Volhall, I've been going home every night to uh, be with the kids and let my wife be up here. So yeah, uh, that's great that's, help, doing a that's lot real nice. in the kitchen and general organization, so it's been really yeah. great. And actually our whole staff has been really awesome up here. Yeah. Um, this is pretty boring. <laughs> let's, well, let, let's take a break and think of some things to actually talk about. There we go. <laughs> but that's never been an issue before. <laughs> Okay. Out of steam. <laughs> That's right. Too yeah. much steam. I always like, well, I've run out of steam. Oh, no, no wait. And then I talk for 10 more minutes. Awesome. Okay. So here's the big thing is uh, we're going to conventions. We used to just go to one convention a year, and that was Adepticon, and that really right. got us uh, where we needed to go. And this year we added the Wild West Shootout in January, so we did that in Adepticon. Mm -hmm. And we're adding we're still a few more going this year. To, we're going to Gen Con. Just, That's in like three weeks. But we're not going there as a, we're not having a booth there. We're actually going there to meet with other great leaders in the industry and get to know some people better and kind of get a feel for the place and enjoy it. So. That's right. So a little bit different this year, but we'll see about next year. Yeah, I, I'm excited. I'm not sure if I'm going. We still haven't decided who's going. Yeah, we're going. working on that. <laughs> we better, we better, get, <laughs> we better get plane tickets. Uh, then we've got Dual Con in Arizona. 
Uh, that's put on by Battle Foam, and that's going to be one that we drive to. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Well, they're right. part of it anyway, so we know that. And um, in October, we're going to Feast of Blades. Feast of Blades. Uh, Feast of Blades. And that's, and, it, yeah, Denver, Colorado. And uh, we're, we also have uh, one of our own events for Valhalla in October, October 10th. Uh, I do believe that's sold out. Yes, pretty much. Right? It's I, the August one that has you know two what? drop pods. For yeah, it. August, there's a couple spots. And once we these are sold out for this year, there won't be any more um, Valhallas for this year at all, the season. Right. So give us a call if you're interested. We might have um, possibly a discounted bunk well, pass. For August? For October. We for might October? have one available. Okay. Um, so, but I think it's just one. So we're really well, trying to work that let out. Let us so know. Call, yeah, let us know if you're interested. I would snatch it up because you'll be at a four-day mild house party. Yeah. With wargaming, Mini wargaming. Oh. and atmosphere. Can you tell him who's coming? Yeah, with mini wargaming <laughs> and worthy painting from England. Yeah, they're both going to be out, along with around. just some other really great, awesome people from all over. So we're really excited about that. August also, we've got uh, Romeo from 40K Radio and also and Battle Foam. He'll one, be out for that. One of his guys or is and, his wife coming? Uh, no, a couple of guys from 40K okay. Radio are coming. Well, him and another So guy. next year, so, we're so fun, trying to fun really stuff. ramp up our uh, convention presence. Ooh, quick thought yeah, on that ahead. one. On August, um, he's also for swag, he's bringing uh, golden tickets to DualCon. So everybody that attends the August event will also have. Uh, full weekend pass to DualCon. Oh, wow. It's kind of a cool thing. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Pretty awesome. That's great. So next year, 2013, this is our tentative schedule. Wild West, Adepticon, PAX, and we just heard about that. It's evidently this giant convention. Yep, only uh, a couple oh, years in. Can you tell us other things that we could go to? Yeah. We're trying to determine what are the most advantageous things for us to Especially for tabletop battle games, because we know a lot of them focus elsewhere, but we'd like to build that community in some of these some of these events that maybe are just starting out with the tabletop battle games, but they've been doing other things. So right. let us know what you love, and we would love to go see you there. Um, yeah, and then uh, Gen Con, Dual Con, and Feast of Blades. Again, same, same as this year. And then, of course, we'll be doing our own Valhalla. Mm -hmm. um, and right now, um, we have... Oh, no, I, I got it. Okay. Oh, you're going to add Go something? Okay. Yep. So, um, also, I thought I would mention um, the deal with Sarah, uh, for those of you just joining the program. In uh, 2008, I was in a pretty strange place in my life. Uh, I was in uh, a basement office. Uh, my business had effectively failed. Uh, I was kind of just gimping along. And uh, all of a sudden, so I, I need an assistant to just pack and clean up. And Sarah shows up. She's taken a $5 an hour pay cut to come work for me. And uh, and I, I thought she was insane. I'm like, yeah. there must be she something didn't hire wrong. Me, actually, at first. Uh, I was, she was not my first choice. <laughs> I, you know, I regret telling you that. But the, the other person that I hired on first just was there a day. And I think, uh, I think she was like, yeah, this isn't my thing. And yes, ma'am? I'll see you. Oh, you're going? Oh, okay. Is it Bye. time already to, to take him to the airport? Yes, yeah, fine. Okay, great. Wow, I better get cracking on my other video. Pause for just a second. We need to say goodbye to. <clears throat> and we're back. Ten minutes later, we had to say goodbye to one of our kids. Yes. It was a good time. Very good. So we've had people from, from Wales and Canada, basically. Oh, and no. Sweden. 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 That's In how America, I'm going to say it. All over America. Yeah. From, you know, where? From how far? For how far? Um, all over the place. We've had Florida, yeah, really. the East Coast. <laughs> it was almost like I was going to go like this. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, all over. That's been fun. So where was, what were we talking about? Oh, that other idea. Oh, yeah, there. the conventions? Yeah. Well, we do have an idea. And you know what? It's like, it's almost like there's we have so much going on that we don't want to put out too much there, lest there be confusion. Or so <laughs> this year, instead of going to one convention, we will have gone to four conventions. Right. Instead of having five right. Valhallas, we'll have had six Valhallas. Right? Next year, we're still shooting for six Valhallas. We have five Valhallas this year. Did we have five? April, Including the private June, one? Private, August, yeah, five. October. No, October. That's six. 
April, June, July, July August, October. October. Yeah, you're right. Only five. <laughs> okay. Five so anyway, so you will probably have five next year unless we have some people take us up on our yeah. private Valhalla thing. And which is um, awesome, by the way. A lot so of fun. anyway, leading up to, we have tinkered with the idea of having a regular type convention uh, out here. Um, uh -huh. Quite a frankly, larger scale. I don't know how you get 500 people to buy plane tickets and come out to your thing. So there's that. People do. We do um, it for so all the other ones. We need your help in naming our convention. Yeah. I'm going with Sean Con. I'm going with ProCon. ProCon? <laughs> uh, it's just, it's a little presumptuous. Why right? is that presumptuous? We have all the pros coming out to game. It's in Provo, Utah. Provo, it's, Utah. Got it's it. It's prominent. It's okay. uh, professional. I think pro's awesome. Okay. I don't well, know. Give me your opinion. Yeah, t help us think of a think of a good if name. If we do one next year, which and we Sean often. Con with the the joke would be how egomaniacal that would be. So I'll have his hand. Big in old his banners, you know. Napoleon. My face in like the face of famous people, you know. I'd wear like a Nobel Peace Prize or. He'd have or tassels like off of his shoulder yeah. and some, some medals uh, of some kind. Whatever. That's awesome. We make things up. That's what like, those are called. He's the shawniest Sean of all the Shawns we know. <laughs> yeah, I guess you know, so. Little, little I don't know. Pins. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 it sounds good, but I think it would be weird, basically. So um, yeah, that is uh, that's so an idea. Have going on. Throwing that around. Don't know dates yet on that, or if we're you know doing that next year, but. It'd be cool. Right. Oh, that Great Chaos location. Dwarf board that you saw, I, um, oh, no, I'm not talking to you guys. <laughs> Sounds like it, though, huh? Hey, hey, I'm not talking to you guys. <laughs> uh, so that Chaos Dwarf board, I couldn't do a specialty thing on it. I'm going to do it Monday at the studio. Uh, the lighting here is great for the casual game. Uh, but doesn't overly lend itself for professional filmography. Although the lighting here and the way it hit that board made it look like it was on fire and glowing from the yeah, inside. Yeah, it, uh, it was pretty neat. You know, Joseph neat. painted it pretty awesome. But you Joseph know. is the master of light. He is. He really He's is. the painter of light. Wait, somebody else has it. Thomas Kincaid. Okay, we're yeah, stealing it. He passed it. away, by the way. I did not know that. Isn't that sad? That is sad. He was I young. think he was like, yeah, he was in his 50s, pretty sure. Yeah, That's so, uh, so there's that. And uh, so that that's note, that's our current events, and uh, what else? Game stores. What about personal? Yeah, we kind of want to get some relationships going with game stores. All over, everywhere. Mm -hmm. That'd be kind of fun. You have an opportunity. Yeah. So if your game store owner wants to contact us, or you want to send us their information, I don't. We'll I don't them. even know what the deal would be. We don't but, know. Uh, It'd be kind of fun. Oh. Our big news is we have a full-time promotions guy. A, uh, what's he called? Marketing director. Marketing director. I, I like that better than promotions guy. What do you think? So, uh, <laughs> and his name is Rob. Uh, you met him in the Hotshot yeah, studio update. Hotshot was referring to Rob himself uh, because um, he, uh, he actually is a reasonable, humble, professional guy who does work. Uh, but uh, he also um, has quite a bit of um, confidence, is what is the word I'm looking for, which is really, that, that's the quality you want in your promotions department. And so, a big vision, and he's great with people. Yeah, wow, like some job. ATVs are tearing it up out there. Yeah, somebody's having a great time. That too. is not the usual Someone thing. Else. Okay, so, um, so that, is, that is a big deal. We're looking for other businesses who we can somehow have a business-to-business -business relationship with. Yeah, maybe. We're real excited about that. Some promotions going both yes. ways. So, uh, yep. yeah, tell us what your favorite game store is. Maybe we can get in touch with them and find something we can do for them and something they can do for us and we can work together a bit. So that'd be awesome. Yeah, well, and a typical thing that I propose is uh, an, just an exchange of services for goods, which mm -hmm. is, uh, well, and we have our trade-in program. I think a lot of game shop owners would actually prefer to take, you know, to switch out this giant chunk of inventory that's not moving and get a smaller chunk of inventory, but yeah, that well. is very <laughs> right. uh, desirable. And I think that. that's, that's kind awesome. of a niche that we're, that we're filling right now. Uh, so, yeah, B BTP is growing. So uh, that's awesome for a game store sometimes, the terrain. Yeah. 
done that for some gay oh, stores locally. I was uh, telling the history of Sarah. Oh, that's right. So, um, so anyway, so we were in the Badger Hole for about a year and a half. You can look back on all the videos and uh, see the Badger Hole. It was it was pretty clear that whenever Sarah and I are within five feet, the business ideas doth flow. Doth. They yes, we just like we start going. Well, what about this? What about this? Good we start one. getting ideas and just like. <laughs> So, uh, so, equals, <laughs> that's, that's how that's that goes. sign language, universal. It's kind of like, language. seriously, everything is like four to six times amplified whenever we're working together on the same project. So, it's really that's absolutely cool. super. Yeah, and you should know that we are holding back on you. We are, we are, to just hold on, we are spoon feeding you awesome right now because most humans can't handle the full dosage of awesome. And I'm no exception. I have to say, two months ago, if I had seen the future, Sean, I would be a little scared. I'd be like, whoa, whoa, the easy whoa, there, fella. Whoa. Why, why are you thinking those giant things? You know? So, uh,. And that's what, well, you saw my other video, is get out a piece of paper, write down what, what is the ultimate incarnation of what you'd like to be or do. And something that occurred to me uh, the other day is you have a limited capacity to have temporal pleasures in this life. So, so I was like, well, you can only, like, you can only be eating one bite of food at a time. Well. And you can only eat so much food in a day. Even if you're massively overeating, which you shouldn't, you can, you only, so what, what do you want to eat? Everything's finite. What do you, yes, what, you're only going to have X amount of meals between, you're only going to have 8,500 meals time. between now and the day you die. So what do you want those meals to look like? What would you like them to be? And Who'd so, like and I was like, you with? can only be in one house at a time. You might own 10 houses. Like that song <laughs> where it's like, I have a mansion, I hear it's great. You know, something I don't like know that. that song. What is that song? You've quoted it a couple times. Yeah, it's like no a seventies song. So anyway, um, and you can only have a car. You can only be driving one car at a time. And then Sarah's like, "What about family?" Did I say that? <laughs> yeah, it was like that too. I didn't even say that. No, you said you said what about something else? And I was like, "Oh, uh, sure, those other things." It was like that Three Amigos scene. <laughs> Where he's like, what are you going to do with your million? And the guy's like, I'm going to drive a fancy car. And then what are you going to do with your million? I'm going to have a huge house. And I'm going to be a Hollywood star. And he says, oh, thing. And then the last guy, Martin Short's character, he says, I'm going to open an orphanage for burned children. <laughs> and the other guys are like, well, yeah, I was going to do that first, of course. You know. So it's like, it was like one of those moments. Like, yeah, sure, Sarah, I'm going to do that other thing, too. You know, I'm like, you can only be with one of your families at a time, right? <laughs> so anyway, you get the point. Okay. I wonder if I'm being too loud out here. It's like, it's echoing across the valley. You get the point, 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 point. <laughs> Good okay. times. Being drowned out by the ATVs. So, yeah. And the river. So I actually, Great. you don't know this, but I did a whole like half hour thing on the flow of goods and good things through your life, right? Uh -huh. And uh, and talked about what you're doing at your house. What I'm doing. Yeah. Well, you, you know what you're doing. You go to Sarah's house, it's like empty. It's half empty. Oh, I'm getting there. It looks like somebody's okay. actually moving out of her house. Yeah. And she's like, and she, so tell them all about it. We talked about that, tell though. About oh, I talked Not about it. I was here. going to do it on the last morning show that I did. Did I? Okay. Wish, you and Shannon, I said, this is what I want to do, and I'm going to clear out all this stuff. So I did. Are we, do you so want to be out awesome. here? No, you can. No, you're perfectly welcome. I just want to know if your group is coming out, we can move to another place. No, I'm just, no. You're good. You're just getting some fresh air. And you were like, hey, why is he pointing at me? Okay, so go ahead. Yeah, so anyway, so I am doing that. We actually, uh, I had this goal to get rid of like 100 things, and I think we've gotten rid of several hundred. So, uh, you know, small to large, all different sizes. Couches. We did, yeah, furniture, big stuff, small stuff. We had a free yard sale. So the whole neighborhood planned on doing this yard sale. I think I talked about that. It was coming up. And we decided, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to undermine what they're doing. And I said, oh, the heck with it. So we started bringing stuff out. And uh, I couldn't even get something out on the, on the the by the sidewalk before somebody drove up and took it away. I mean, they were just like, how much is this? I'm like, oh, it's free. Well, how much is this? 
It's all free. I thought you were joking. No, no. I'm serious. Do you need anything else? We had some, we said, do you need anything else? They said, well, do you have a couch? And we said, one moment. We weren't sure we were giving that couch away, but we went upstairs and hauled the couch down and gave it to them. Yeah. So, yeah, it was pretty fun. Um, so, my the trick is you can't time. sell it. No, no selling. If you, if you get rid of the item, it's like an equipment slot on World <laughs> of Warcraft. If you get rid of the item and you bring in money, the money is now taking up the slot. Well, in this That's case also, uh, just... A mentor of mine was saying that if you get rid of something and by, but by selling it, then you have devalued it. So if you're going to sell it at a garage sale and you sell it for 25 cents, but you really paid eight or ten dollars for it, you devalued it to 25 cents. But if it you give it to somebody, the value never goes down. Oh, the value is whatever so the joy, and whatever they get out of it. You know, of they... it doesn't have it hasn't got a dollar. Mm. Oh, that's good. So that was kind of interesting too. So that's what we've been doing. That's pretty cool. My kids were really excited. All of them. So go up to people on the street and like throw money at them and yeah, like, like run away. Yeah, that's another. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing. Like that. With that voice. That's how I'm that sounds that. too. I can't do it till I get the voice down. The but police so. like tackle me. <laughs> Folk. You think he's hopped up on goof goofballs, Sarge? <laughs> yeah. I love goofballs, whatever those are. Those people that work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. By the way, we've got Mason and Ben Mason too. Mason and Ben here. too are out here. They're helping with the commentary. Oh my gosh. The peanut gallery. Yep. Those two awesome. think they're funny. I think we're more like the old men from the Muppets. Oh, there yeah. you go. <laughs> what are the names? Strausberg and Germanstein or something? I thought it was something. Sit up Marley in the box seat. You know those personality tests online? Yeah. You for to see which Muppet you are? That's actually who I was. Really? Too bad in the Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I want to see what Muppet I am. I want to do that too. You'd be Kermit. I, no, might. Be I would be Kermit. You'd be Gonzo. I'd be Gonzo. Gonzo, Gonzo. maybe, yeah. yeah. I believe it. He's one of my favorites. I might yeah. be Miss Piggy, He's punching awesome. people and stuff. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking maybe. You're not violent. Ah! Yeah. Not unless you see me in a exit interview. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess okay. so. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so history of Sarah. <laughs> We're um, back to that again. <laughs> well, we are. Um, and so we've worked together, had this great um, relationship yeah. of restri uh, restrict. <laughs> Of, uh, of respect Every and respect. mutual admiration. <laughs> oh, that my is correct. Gracious. And restraint. So, um, so basically, uh, I think that changed one day. Well, it, all during the badge roll, I was nagging about monetary policy in the banks and debt servitude. You know, I'm like, I paid off, I paid $80,000 in interest in my house, and I have $1,000 of equity. That's jagged. Yeah. There's a problem with that. But without going but, on to that. You know, how can I complain about it when maybe that's what I constructed for, or I just kind of went on with the flow that everything was without actually planning out something different. So um, uh, basically, I talked about a yurt. Like, I'm going to go buy two acres. I'm going to buy a $10,000 yurt. I'm moving the family of six into the yurt. But then at least we would own it. And then we could work up from there. We'd suffer in the yurt for a couple of years. And then we would actually be able to buy something a little better and basically move on up yeah. the line, right? So I actually went and got so, some research done on yurts, found some awesome stuff, started looking at property because I was doing the same sort of thing. Right. So one day, it's a Mongolian Roundhouse. round tent. Oh, okay. kind of. Yeah, they make them really things. nice. You see they're, them in the movies. They're really in, awesome. uh, They have one down at Sundance. It's a yoga yurt. Yeah. They the can be nice. Yes. Yeah. We're we also all checked into about that. that. Yeah. Kind of expensive. Though. Well, but yeah. think about it. What if you had ten tiny houses? Yeah. Now you've got a house. You can make one a kitchen, make yeah. one two a bedroom. You make one like a little living room area. Just pitch a big tent over there. And so you basically get to the bathroom and you yeah. like. <laughs> Right. Cool. Well, and they can't get you. Because now it's, they it's want you to move. It's all so you don't you, have to have. You just hook you really, them up to your trucks and you move them two at a time. You don't have to have building uh, building permits. Building for permits like that because yeah. of their mobility. And 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 that is how they price the common Same man out yurts. of owning his Usually own home for reals. It's yeah, they they just it's like a bunch of uh, marlins herding a ball of tuna under sea. <laughs> is how humans are treated nowadays. Yeah. That we're just all kind of driven into this big old debt ball. Okay. Okay. So anyway, a delicious, back delicious, fishy system. debt ball. So okay. anyway, so after all that time, one day Sarah says, "You know what, Sean? I'm going to look at some property today, and I'm like, I want a piece of that. I don't want to overstep, but I want a piece of that." So we headed up into uh, Spanish Fork Canyon. Some of you have heard this story before, yeah, so I'll make it shorter. 
And basically, we found this mansion up there. We were like, aha, that may be the thing that we are after. Like, that may be what it looks like. And um, so we... It was about um, 200 acres. I mean, it wasn't just like a big house. It was just a beautiful setting, and it was just all kind of self-sustained. Oh, it was great. It had, you James know, Bond's solar mansion. and, uh, you mm. know, radiant heating and a lot of great things happening right there. A water source was not going, you know, great water shares and local water as well as the water right. that's piped through. I mean, just had a lot of really good self-sustaining This things was there. like September 2010. September, October, no? October, October? Okay, October. October 2010. So we go up and, spend, and we trudged around. I got some great video we on this. We got mud. We were... Yeah, oh, it was terrible. <laughs> we were out in cow um, fields. Awesome. Well, and it was it was cactus and sagebrush. Like it's inhospitable sagebrush the land. Way. Yeah, that was awful. And so um, what we... Uh, discovered, so we discovered this place, and that's when um, we thought of the idea of Valhalla. Right. Well, let's have guests out, and then that'll pay for the thing. Yeah, to help and you know, get the property. We, right. So. And so, um, and but, to do something a little different, because we, you know, there isn't anything like Valhalla out there going on right now that, you know, most things are, are larger scale or smaller scale, but don't have the, the uh, kind of ambiance and the setting and everything included. And uh, that just camaraderie that you get from being it, like being an honored house guest, and just anyway, mm -hmm. it was—it's just a, a different thing, and it's been so wonderful. It's been so much fun. And awesome. It's—it's it's turned into something amazing. So we had two fall hollows up at that house. That was in a defunct town called Thistle, meaning, meaning there was no city. There used to be a town called Thistle, but then it was underwater for a year. Yeah, it got wiped out in <laughs> flood. So it had a, a um, dam broke, and it was like a, right. Yeah. So, um, anyway, and we were trying to lease that and figure out a deal, and it Purchase just all it. fell through. And then, so t early 2011 is when we started in on the project of the building that we're in now. Yeah, the place. And when that started, so there was a magic moment. There's critical moments in your life that kind of swing. And uh, so one of them was, hey, I'm going to look at property, and that's when we started, our brains started amplifying. Like, our and vision shifting. went from here, and we were like, Oh, there's this bigger thing. There's this bigger thing. There's this bigger thing. Oh my gosh, there's this yet bigger thing. And um, so that building came around. So we're out in the parking lot, and I had actually scouted this building for BTP uh, earlier. Yeah, we had what six months before. Yes, that's right. We and uh, I, I actually well, and this is about risks, which is you got to get out of your comfort zone. And for me, out of my comfort zone is kind of my comfort zone. Like I love. So the landlord comes in, he's like, Sean, I'm going to raise your rent $50 a month. And I'm like, yeah. all right, that's your prerogative, but you should know uh, that I'm going to go, I'm going to just beat the street and find out what's out there, what is the going rate. And maybe that's the best rate. And well, maybe, you, us, you know, not. I should say uh, thank you, or maybe, you know, we should revisit this in light of, uh, you know, the actual market value. And um, so, I, so I, I, I walked probably at least a couple miles just going door to door. And just looking at places, looking at things, calling numbers. I was down by the fairgrounds. That's yep. how far south I got. Yep, I remember I brought a and burrito down to you that day. That's right. That's right. I, I got down there. I'm like, me so hungry. Bring <laughs> I'm me tired. food. So, um, so we walked, and that's how I found uh, yeah. the building that we're in now. Uh, the it was Big John's Craft Shop, uh, owned Country by store. Big John Country Store. Right. Mm -hmm. But it was and, a craft store. Like yeah, it, it, it was it was kind of defunct. And so I had found that the August before, so right. around the same time right. it was around as August. we were going and uh, hoofing it up in the wilderness. So, uh, so the 2010, and then so six months later, everything changed. The deal got better, and uh, so we met with the broker and everybody. So magic moment was um, parking lot. Sarah, yeah, we're out in the parking lot. I think it had just rained, and um, it was. Um, okay, do we want to make this a mutual deal? Because Sarah's idea was that she would help with her know-how and resources to renovate the building. And she said, uh, but, but I, want in, I want in on it. <laughs> and uh, labor. And um, labor. so the idea was that, so, and, and that was the question. Sean, do you want to do it this way, or do you want to just have it be under the auspices of blue table painting? And that's basically, uh, if I remember correctly, Oh no, we had actually formed Hollingsgate we had. before then, for in doing, January, uh, for doing January 2011. Yeah. That's right, so we had formed our own company, and it was, well, that we wanted to do this building. And the building we're in now, it really is a great example of what I was talking, of multiplication of mental effort, which is, 
what I would have done with that building would have been would have been okay, but it would have been notably less awesome. And, and vice versa. If Sarah were on her own, yeah. it would not have, you know... It would have been different. It, it, would, have been it would be less. like would have hydrogen just, and oxygen. We would have put up, you know, we'd done paint and we would have fixed this or that, but we right. wouldn't have structurally changed it like we did. And um, you'd done all the internal things of changing. And by know, structurally, heating, heating, she cooling, means cooling and electrical the deep and, stuff. Yeah, the right. deep stuff and the, redoing the ceilings and, uh, huh. you know, framing and insulating right. and sheetrocking. We did that whole building, almost every every square inch. Now, so. now you might be asking yourself, what does this have to do with war games? What is, you know, <laughs> why am I listening to this? Okay, well, first off, it says morning show, so you should know by now. <laughs> okay. Secondly, uh, blue table painting and the other thing we're doing isn't just about war games about or humans. the product. It's human interest. Yes, it is about, it's about human interest, it's about community. And we get a lot of email, not a lot, lot, but no, we do. We a get significant a amount of emails where people say you've influenced my life in a positive way. And it's not and always just, just from can't being. Beat that. It's just from being people and, and being honest about yeah. stuff, talking about. I would things. think I was Absolutely. one of those people when I first started listening to you guys. I was in a pretty horrible marriage. And, uh, really? Sarah was that bad? <laughs> it was my first marriage. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know if they can hear uh, what you're saying. I started listening to you guys and actually realized that me doing war gaming was worth something, so I got out of that marriage. Uh, we, whoa, we get, made you get a divorce. <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty <laughs> bad us. situation, though. So, but your, your situation improved? Yes. Okay, great. Well, and, and that's Add the critical value. thing. A little bit of value is that to what you were doing. That was you fun. can implode inside your own head when the darkness gets to be too much. And when that last little pinpoint of light seals off, that's when people lose it. And you can't, and that's part of what we do, is we keep that light on. We are trying to get, as long as you tune in, we are going to do something. give you we're gonna cheerfulness. Do, we're going to do something. And, and what we're My doing <laughs> is something that is like, it's great. And it's not like... We're it's some kind of special science. people. Yeah, no, it's just stuff. It's, I started, I mean, at, at a certain point in my childhood, I lived in the back of a truck. Hold on, this gets better. It was actually a truck bed that had been sliced off and turned into a trailer with like a ball hitch and it had a canopy on top. And that was my bedroom. I actually would open it and get in. No electricity, mind you. I had a kerosene lamp. Inside the A mosquito space. repellent That's thing. That's really scary, actually. Right? How did I live? How did you and I had a mat smoke? and a sleeping bag and a stack of books this big. A stack of books that were this. Not that every book was this big. That, that would have been, like, that. huge. So anyway, um, so you can. You can start with nothing and parlay that through desire and... Hard work thinking and other people uh, Connections. yeah mentoring you uh, helping you expand your vision of things uh, and uh, bring that up to to something amazing whatever that is I don't know what's on your piece of dream paper I don't know what that is mine has a spaceship on it <laughs> yeah no seriously it's, like, it's, it's doable <laughs> I, I really believe the only reason why we don't have in, interstellar travel right now is just that humans haven't decided they want that yet. Yep, okay. it's just like, it'll be just like crossing an ocean. You know, there was no there was no technology to cross the ocean. We just need the nano thing you were talking about. And then slowly, about, so they stay young. It, so yeah, the nanotechnology. Would make sense. Well, th they will have transplant. They'll have uh, very sophisticated transplant technology. So my uh, young nieces and nephews, when I'm giving them a hug, I actually kind of <laughs> feeling out their liver. <laughs> I'm like, that liver, you have a very healthy liver. And they're like, um, why is that important? Oh, it'll be important. Don't you worry. There's a guy in Kentucky that has a completely synthetic heart. Yeah, Simple. yeah, artificial heart. Hey, uh, come, are you leaving, Rob? Well, I forbid it. I don't like that. Okay, well, just hold on a minute. We'll wrap okay. this up and, uh, and give pause. you a farewell. Yeah, I guess, well, you know, we really are at the end. I think we've, we've talked That's for like a half hour. That's the story of Sarah. Hour. 
yeah, that's that's the story of how this all happened. And uh, so, uh, wish us luck in our continued endeavors. Uh, think positively and keep that positive switch on. Don't doubt yourself and let, you know, they're, they're in your private moments, you're going to slide back into, oh, it's horrible, it's not going to work out, everything's going to fail, I'm a failure. you got to, somehow, no, you got to like. just keep, and just go, <laughs> and even if you have, no, no, I don't believe that, and just verbalize the best case scenario. Say it out loud. You'd be surprised how hard it is sometimes to choke that out, to actually say it out loud. Yeah. Yeah. Until you believe it. All right, there I'm out. And that's all you get. And that's all you get. All right, boys. This is what Daddy's talking about. Okay. Steaks. No. Bam. No, that's chicken. Chicken. Here's the steaks. Bam. Hold on. Let's see the. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah. You're grilling it up good. Thanks a lot, honey. Yeah. Much appreciated. Stick these in the warming oven. Okay, Sarah, give us the tour. I want to show the folks the awesome, oh, okay. awesome food. Well, here we go. Oh, yeah. Tamara's going to help. We've got... Meat. We've got ter not teriyaki, ginger... Ginger, sesame ginger chicken. Sesame ginger chicken off the grill. Compliments for me. Yeah. Yeah. We have Beautiful steaks. as right. We have ribeye steaks. Oh, yeah. Also. Got two different, you know, right. versions of that. More ribeyes, the more well okay. done. Over these here. were these were special requests for this particular group, requests. right? And here we have grilled yes. asparagus, yes. baked potatoes, and sautéed mushrooms and onions. Okay. Great. Topping for potatoes, bread, shrimp cocktail, stuff. All right, yeah. fantastic. Cream All right, th thanks a lot, ladies. Bread. Much appreciated. Oh, you guys are doing a good job. Good.